Today we are going to start making candy canes with condiments around the house. So I have some ketchup here and some peanut butter. Oops, there we go. And some peanut butter and some barbecue sauce. I got some mayonnaise and I have some jelly in here. Miss Amy thought that she had mustard in the house, but I do not have mustard, but I did find this. So I got some Ready Whip, which I think is gonna be super fun. So whatever you guys have around the house will work great. Um, the best part is, is that you have the temperature of the condiment. So in a little bit, we're gonna do, um, I'm gonna show you how to paint with the condiments on um, some pans that I put foil on for easy cleanup. And then I'm also gonna show you what it's like to have the condiments in a Ziploc bag and where you can squeeze the material out and then it won't get on your hands but you also get the input of the temperature of the ketchup and mayonnaise which I'm going to use which is super cool. So we are going to get started. I suggest to put foil on your pans because um, for easy cleanup because I, um, I don't want to scrub a pan so I'm just put some foil on these guys. Okay, so I'm going to start with the original colors of candy cane, which is red and white, and then I'm going to do one with different colors. So I'm going to start with the ketchup. So you guys can use your fingers, um, you guys can go silverware, or you can use a paintbrush. So I'm going to try the finger because I want to see why oh, it's cold, so that's kind of cool. So it's on my finger and I, if you guys can see, so we're going to start, I'm going to start actually on the bottom, so we're just going to layer with different stripes to have it create a candy cane. So I'm gonna start here, and I'm gonna put some nice ketchup on the bottom. Another thing you might want handy real quick is napkins, or if you wanna eat it, that's fine too. I don't love ketchup, but if you wanna do that, that's perfect. As long as mom and dad say it's okay, good with me. So I've got red here for my ketchup. I am going to wipe my finger off, and then, so I got my trusty napkin, and then I'm gonna go with the mayonnaise. So like I said, this is really cool because I have the temperature of all the condiments. So I'm getting input while I'm painting. But we could, like I said, you can also do that later um, with the bags. Oh, this is cool. So the texture of this mayonnaise actually resembles um, acrylic paint, which is really cool. So on here, the white actually has the same consistency and thickness of like acrylic paint. So check that out. Okay, so let's keep going. So we've got some red, more red on here. I wish you guys could smell what my kitchen smells like. I've got guacamole and ketchup and mayonnaise and some peanut butter. <laughs> so we've got all the smells, which is also cool for input. So you guys are having a full sensory experience here if you have all these condiments on your table like I do. So I'm gonna keep going. So I've got so far, if you can see, there we go. So I got red and white. Right. I think if I hold it up, that might be better. So I'm also gonna post um, pictures of what these turned out like, so you guys can see it better that way. It's kind of cool. My if my fingers actually started to get really cold from dunking my finger in here. So I will switch to the paintbrush so you guys can see how that works. So I have a paintbrush here, and I just did white, so I'm gonna go to my red. And same thing, you can just dab it so it's a little thicker. And it goes just like that. I'm not gonna lie, I like painting with this, it's cool. It goes on smooth. The mayonnaise was a shocker. I've never painted with mayonnaise, and I never realized the consistency is so similar once on this foil to acrylic paint, which is really cool. So I'm gonna wipe this off. And keep going here. So don't forget, candy canes also have that nice curve on top. So I'm gonna make a nice big one here, but I don't wanna forget my curve because it looks like our candy cane with a nice curved top. All right, keep going. Paintbrush. So also, if you guys don't have a paintbrush, Ooh, I got ketchup. If you don't have a paintbrush, you can also use, I have some um, like plastic silverware, or if you have like a butter knife, I don't know if you want to use that, but I'll show you. 
even the back end. It's just a plastic. So where was I at? Oh, I need a little bit more of the white. So same thing. The cool thing is this is your art piece. So whatever you find in your house that you think is going to work, it's going to be awesome. So just do whatever you guys have and think that you want to use and mom and dad says it's okay. And try it out. We're supposed to be creative, right? Just doing something fun. There we go. So the more creative, the better. All right, I'm going to go back to my finger here. I think I'm going to speed this up. So I'm going to go back and forth with these two instead of wiping off each time. Because I do want to show you guys what it would look like as a different color. And then I don't want to run out of time to be able to show you the... Um, the sensory piece with uh, Ziploc bags. So I'm gonna kind of speed this up a little bit. I got a white. All right, my curve's coming. So I am going to kind of, the tip of this is kind of just keep going in this line, but you're gonna kind of curve a little bit. If you want to, I could do this on the next one, is you can actually draw yourself a little outline of where you think you want your candy cane to go and that might be helpful too to have um, I'll show you might be easier for placement so if you think that putting squares or rectangles on your foil for your um, child is the best route so then they can see where to put the um, the lines from the from your fingers into the little rectangles then we could do that too so I'll show you just makes it easier so then it's more of a routine of put it in the box that might be helpful. So I'm going to not a space here. I'm going to curve this a little bit more. It's not a perfect candy cane but there's a lot of love in here. Okay. Oopsies. Like I always say, it's always about this process that I like of coming up with these ideas of painting with food or textures at home because then the product looks so cool. I hope you want, there we go. So I have a little bit of a glare, but if you guys can see, I have ketchup and mayonnaise to make a candy cane. So I'm gonna switch now to the different foods I have because I wanna see texture-wise how these look and I gotta get this off my fingers here. Okay, so I'm gonna try this peanut butter. I've never done anything with peanut butter. So let's do peanut butter, guacamole, barbecue sauce, and jelly. Oof. <laughs> okay, all right, I'm gonna start with this peanut butter. Oh, it feels great. Okay, we'll start again on the bottom. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so this is awesome too. And what's nice about peanut butter, is how thick it is, you can actually see your Cool. You actually can, if you make it thick enough, you can see your finger going right in there. That's cool. I like that. Okay, so peanut butter is a go. I like that one. Should we dare put guacamole next to peanut butter? Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Oh, I love this. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Oh, so the guacamole, heads up if you're for it, is... You gotta kind of do some layers here, and that's okay. But you can see... That it is green. Oh, heavens. Oh, there it is. You can see that it's green. It's not the prettiest of greens, but it is green. All right, so let's do the jelly. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to like this one. Oh, this is sticky. Okay. Let's see. Sticky, sticky jelly here. Okay. Let's keep going here. The jelly is also the same, so it's because it's kind of translucent here, you gotta do some layers, but it'll work because it's sticky. Oops. Get a little chunk on there. There we go. All right, what else did I say? Oh, this barbecue sauce. Okay, let's do that. These colors aren't too bad. I kind of like this purple from the jelly and the green together. I kind of like that. So, I'm going to say, again, you probably should have some napkins around because that's getting kind of messy here. All right, so now let's go quick here so we could get our, do our other part. So there's our peanut butter. I'm going to see if I can do them all on each finger. So then we just do like this, which is kind of fun. So where was I at? After this was guacamole. 
and after the guacamole is what do we do? Jelly. Jelly. Get some of these chunks on here. There we go. And oh my barbecue sauce. I'm gonna go with the pinky on that one. Barbecue sauce. That's super kind of watery, but same thing. All right, so oh, where am I at? Now this is kind of fun to see if you can remember the pattern because I forgot for a second there what was first. So now we've got peanut butter, guacamole, oops, there we go, and jelly. Try not to get jelly on my glasses. That would not be fun. Here we go, jelly, and my pinky barbecue sauce here. So here's where we're at, if you guys can see. Like I said, I'll post the picture so you guys can see better, but just to get an idea of how it looks with different colors, because, am I right, Barb? Yeah. Um, not all the candy canes are the original white and red, so I do like to see the different colors. Have you guys tried the different flavored ones? They have the... I think I've seen the Oreo ones. Have you tried those? And they have, what did I see? Spree. It's like a hard candy. And I've seen um, like the Dum Dum candies, the sucker candy flavor. So they've come a long way from just the uh, peppermint flavor. Okay, so I'm going to start with my curve because I really want to show you guys what it looks like with the squeezing of um, the... Uh, bags okay so where am I at I keep getting lost here barbecue sauce okay peanut butter all right so peanut butter and like I said this is where you kind of start doing the same thing but now you're gonna curve around and then I want to show you too about the boxes I was talking about so let's you know what let's stop here so we can show you the boxes and then I will finish the curve and the boxes at the same time so if you guys have a sharpie or a marker you can draw, if you can see, you can draw your candy cane onto the pan at first. I hope you can see that. Otherwise, there we go. You can see a little bit. And then you can make lines. So this is a nice reference for your child to know where to put the next line. Okay. So if I have, you guys, there we go. You can see how I have these sections on here. So now I'm going to just use ketchup for, since we're right here. So now this might be a nice reference to, to say put it in the box. And then we're just going to put it right in this box. And this might be helpful. I'm going to go back to this peanut butter. Okay, this might be helpful for placement. So I'm just going right. I'm going to go back to this. Uh -oh, I need another finger. Here we go right into this box. So I'm going to keep going. Where was that? Peanut butter. There we go. You guys can see there. And excuse me, what was that? I keep forgetting about this barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce and the mayonnaise was my thumb. That's kind of fun too. So normally you would think to just use your index fingers or your other fingers, but if you want to try something different, try your thumb. That would be cool. So look at that. So I put it in, if you guys can see, I put it into the boxes, which is awesome for placement. All right, let's do this curve real quick. And then I want to go back to um, the other pan where I can show you guys how we're going to squeeze it out. So where were we at? Peanut butter. Oh, guacamole. Now I'm going to start my curve and jelly. And hold that button, please. And peanut butter. Where'd my peanut butter go? I guess I'll use my thumb for that one. All right, so I'm getting my curve going. You can see that curve. Guacamole. Oh, this is a much better curve. I think I like this one better than the first one. And you guys don't have to do just one. If you want to fill your whole pan up or um, if you just want to take your hands and get in there and feel all the different textures, that's good too. This is just kind of a reference if you want to 
create an image, that's fine. If you just want to play with some of the condiments, all different textures and different feelings, because this jelly is super sticky and the peanut butter feels really cool. I'm really shocked by the mayonnaise. Uh, where was it at? Okay, body sauce. And we'll do one more, and I wanted to show you the other thing. Um, oh, peanut butter. I have to bump my thumb on that one. All right, so here, oh boy, I did it. I get a good amount on there. Okay, so here, oh, you can see there's the big one with the, right there. Oops, I'm sorry. There we go. So that's what ours looks like. So if we go, maybe even this way would be better. There we go. I wanted to finish showing you what I was talking about with um, the condiments in bags, if you don't want to touch it. So I have here, I put mayonnaise in here, and there's ketchup in here. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to cut a tiny little hole on the end. You can have mom and dad help. And then I'm going to squeeze it out, kind of like frosting. So if you guys can see, I just cut a little snip here. And I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm actually going to go over, or I'll go next to it so you guys can see. So here, it's coming out a little bit. So we've got ketchup, if you can see, which is actually cool. Because did you ever get those packets? I think Chick-fil-A has them, where they squeeze out. Or you could put them on your fries. That's what it reminds me of. So I'm just going to keep doing the red all the way down. And then I'm going to do... The, um, the white in between. What's cool about this is I can feel the temperature of the ketchup and I can squeeze it, but my hands are not getting messy at all. And I'm still able to create this cool image without having it touch my hands. So there is that. And now I'm gonna switch to the mayonnaise. So before I cut this, I just wanna show you if you guys wanna try this too, that because of the temperature, and it does feel really cool. For your discretion, you guys can have them squeeze and manipulate the bags because, like I said, it's the temperature of the condiments is really nice on your hands. And then you can, um, you know, do the bottom. But what's cool is that even with this mayonnaise, you kind of just pull it. It's nice between the fingers like this. You never think you'd be able to do so much cool stuff with the stuff that's been sitting in your fridge or we put on our sandwiches, right? So I am going to do the same thing with the ketchup, or excuse me, with this mayo that I did with the ketchup. So I think this might not come out as fast because mayonnaise does have a thicker consistency than ketchup does, but let's see. So same thing, I kind of feel like I'm decorating a cake here, but it's mayonnaise. I don't think I would like a mayonnaise cake, I don't know, that wouldn't be so good. All right, here we go. So now I'm going to take my white mayonnaise and I'm going to go right the top of this. Now I kind of made a space in between here which I kind of like. That's cool. So whatever you guys think. Oh, and then these get skinnier. Okay. Well, whatever you guys think works for you. Works for me. I'm excited to see if you guys want to post some of these pictures on your seesaw so I can take a look of how they turn out. I actually like how this looks with this bag. You know what we're going to have to do, which I almost forgot about, is we're going to have to use some of this Cool Whip. Because, I mean, the uh, Ready Whip. There we go. Sweet! That looks, oopsie, upside down. There we go. How cool is that? I do like that one. So this is also like raised. So if you can see, which you, I don't know if you can, but when it's on your pan, when we did it with our fingers and the paintbrush and whatever other um, utensils maybe that you use, it's flat. This is raised, so that's even cooler. So it's not gonna dry hard. Well, the mayonnaise might a little, but so it's pretty cool. So I think we should use some of this. What do you think? So how about, I got an idea. Let's do the Ready Whip and do one big candy cane and then do like the ketchup on top to make it look like little, um, what are those things called? Like the little berries. So I got my Ready Whip. Oh, that comes out quick. We're gonna do like that. Now I definitely would try to eat this because it is good, but we won't do that right now. But if you have some, you might want to taste. Make sure it's oh heavens, make sure it's okay. 
So my dad used to say when we go, let me taste that, make sure it's okay. I'm like, oh, I'm sure it's okay, dad, to eat my piece of cake. <laughs> okay, so now I got my ready whip on here, and now I'm going to try to put these little dots on here. So it looks like little berries. Oh, that one fell off. There we go. I definitely would not try this though with the ketchup. I don't think I would like that. It looks like polka dots. You know, they should make polka dot candy canes, but I'm sure that would be a real test. I don't know how you would do that. So, and there's your ready whip. Should we add? Oh, you know what you can do with the ready whip since it's thick. Let's do one more thing. Why don't we take our fork and see if we can put a little design in here. So if you go down with the ready whip, you can see some of these lines and kind of spread this red on here. You can try that too. It doesn't smell great. I'm not going to lie. Lots of ketchup on here, but it looks cool. All right. So there we go, guys. Happy Monday. It's a beautiful day out today. Hope you guys have a great day.